All right, so I just got this new stuff to get this this pond running a little bit more efficiently. So I picked up some some proper one inch pond tubing. This new pump, which is supposed to be really really good, it got good reviews, and then this bag to keep stuff off of the pump, kind of a pre-filter type thing. So let's give this a go and see what happens. Okay, so here's the difference in those two pumps. So, here's the original. I've got both of them in this bucket going. So here's the original pump. This is not terrible. That's what we've used the, all these years for this other uh, that other pond out there. Here's the new pump. It's like something like 4,600 gallons per, per hour. So it's pretty strong. It's made for a bigger pond, but I definitely don't want this getting murky. So that's why I'm upgrading. So this other pump is going to go back into the duck pond because that's what we've been using it for for the last six months or so. Okay, I'm going to get this overflow hooked up to the new pump and see, see how it looks.
Okay, so here is the finished product. However, what I'm going to have to be looking for now is to make sure that because it's such a strong current, we got to check and make sure that none of the fish are getting stuck to the bag or can't swim in that much of a current. And then I'm, the, the next thing I need to do is I need to build a box for a filter box for that to sit in. Right now it's just in one of the reusable bags, like filter bags, with some sponge filters pushed up against it. So that's kind of just to see how it would look and decide if we were going to leave it in this pond or not. I'm going to see how they do overnight. And then if it looks like it's stirring up too much, then I'm going to change this out and um, go back to the original filter and, and pump assembly. And then we'll use this one in the duck pond. So we're going to give that a try overnight. Here's the other one. And we'll put that one in to the duck pond.